And remember our ATR for the dollar versus the CAD is 190 points. So 190 point stop. All right, guys, so we're live. Let's just begin. So we're looking to take three trades for week four. So welcome to week four. And if you have been following along with our small account trading, we'll be using the same technicals, the same way to fundamentally analyze the charts. Everything remains the same. Nothing changes. We're also taking the trades at about the same time, about four hours after the new trading session has, be has begun. So the market closed at four this evening. And we'll be looking to take um, these trades at about 10 p.m. So it's now 9.41 p.m. Jamaican time. So for the persons that are just joining the small account trading, we opened this account in 9507701. We also opened up a $1,000 account. So this account had $100 in there. We opened the account on the 11th of February 2022. And since we have opened the account, we have been trying to build a track record. So we're trying to build long-term trading consistency through repeatability. We're trying to repeat the same thing every week, trading at the same times of the day, following our fundamental analysis that we perform on a weekly basis and using the same technicals. So let's just get back to the chart. Now, the first trade that we want to take is on the dollar versus the CAD. And we are seeing some dollar strength coming into this week. So like I said before, we want to take the same trade at the same time of the day. And we'll be taking this trade at 9.43 p.m. So at this time of the day, during the Japanese and Australian session, volatility is low, volume is low. And what you don't want to do, you don't want to be taking trades when volume is high. Because that is where we have reversal and turning points. We want to enter when the volume is low. We want to put on our trades and just let them run. So I've already said, guys, that our fundamental for this week is a strong dollar. We're looking at Monday's candle. This strong, voluminous candle breaking over our 10 moving average with no wick at the top. What does that indicate? It indicates that we may continue to see some buying tomorrow. So this is the kind of technicals that we are willing to put money at risk. So let us bring up our depth of market. And remember our ATR for the dollar versus the CAD is 190 points. So 190 point stop, 190 point take profit. There's a reason why we're doing that is because the ATR tells us that on a weekly basis, the dollar versus the CAD moves up and down about 190 points. If we're going to be protected, with a decent enough stop, 190 points is more than enough to protect us. So let's just put in our limit orders first. We're putting it close to this buy zone here. 1.27841. And we're going to put another one close to this buy zone here. And we're going to place another one close to this buy zone there and that buy zone is at 1.27285 and then we're going to top it off with a market order all right so we have four orders on the dollar versus the cad good technicals it's in keeping with our fundamentals and we're going to journalize the trade remember i tell you that we have to pictorially journalize our trades so i'm just going to use the window snipping tool and I'm just going to journalize this trade and then we're going to log into the $1,000 account and take the same trade. All right, guys, so let's just log into our $1,000 account and take the very, very same trade. So pending order. And we're placing the pending orders at the very same levels that we place it for the the hundred dollar account. And we're gonna put a buy market order as well. Alright, guys, so the next trade that we want to take is on the dollar versus the Swiss. In keeping with our strong dollar theme. And if we're just supposed to look at the trading Bible here, in terms of the ATR. A sensible place to put our stop if we're going to trade the dollar versus the Swiss is 130 points. 
So bring up our depth of market. Stop loss 130 points. Take profit 130 points. Buy a limit. We're going to drag this buy a limit to that buy zone there. We're going to bring this buy limit to this buy zone as well. Close to this buy zone. And probably a third buy limit. And then we're going to put a buy market order. Let's just journalize this trade. And after we journalize that trade on the $1,000 account, let's just log into our $100 account and take the very same trade. So buy a limit. And then we're going to put another buy a limit close to these buy zones here. And then we're going to have a buy market order. And let's just journalize. Remember guys, journalizing is very, very important. All right guys, so the next trade that we want to take is on the CAD versus the Yen. All right, and one of the reasons why we want to take this CAD versus the Yen trade is because we do have a weak CAD for this week. And if we are buying the dollar versus the CAD, then we have to be selling our currency period like the CAD versus the Yen. So let's just look at the ATR for the CAD versus the Yen. ATR for the CAD versus the Yen, 172 points. So that's our, our stop or our risk. So this was Monday's candle. We have this candle here indicating that we may see this push down continue. Depth of market, 172. Then we're going to put in some sell limits first. And then we're going to put, and then we're going to put a sell market order. Uh, let's just journalize. And let's just log into our thousand dollar account and take the same trade. Sell limit order. Drag it to the sell zone there. Sell limit order again. And sell market order. And let's just journalize as well. All right, guys, so I've taken three trades. It's on the back of our strong dollar fundamental analysis that we have seen. We expect some strength in the US dollar and we also expect some weakness in the CAD. So we're going to hold these trades. Normally these trades play out in about the next five to six hours. So at about 4 a.m. Jamaican time, we may start to see if these trades start to play out in our favor or whether or not they're not moving in our favor. But we're using similar technical analysis that we used in week one, two, and three. And we want to see if these trades will play out the way we expect them to. So I'll pause the video. Let's just see what happened at 4 a.m. in the morning. All right, guys, so today is the 8th of March, 2022. And what you're seeing is that we're up about 23 points on the dollar versus the CAD, 26 points on the dollar versus the Swiss. And like we have done for the last three weeks, we're going to liquidate these trades. We're going to journalize, and we're also going to liquidate these trades. And remember that we're actually still in the process of building a cushion. So we're trying to build up a cushion on our open opening balance. So let's just go ahead and liquidate these trades on both accounts. And let's just log into our hundred dollar account as well. Oh, 
all right guys so we have completely de-risk the account let's just take a look at the statement and what you're seeing here guys is that our gross profit and our profit factor continues to increase and i told you before that what we're trying to do initially is to build a cash flow you're seeing that we're up about 29 percent on this account so like i told you before guys we're trying to build a cash flow and as time continues then we'll hold our trades much longer